Um, I think the truth is that most people who care for their loved ones do it because they want to. And, my, and I do, for example, I'm a part-time carer for my mum, but it's okay for me because I'm in a good job, I have a fantastic employer, I can afford it, and I can make the system work for me. My worry is all the millions of women, and some men too, um, who, who are not in that position, who desperately want to do something because they love the person in question, uh, but who are essentially punished by our state for doing so, which seems to me utterly disgraceful. Um, but I do think you're right, and everybody's right, that we, you can't just see this on its own. It's important to have a broader conversation about how we resource care properly in our society. I want to answer Sue's point. I think, I think that perspective, and I'm not saying that this is what you are having, but I've heard it, it underestimates women. In all the pilots in which I've been involved, where individual men and women have received a basic income, one of the biggest results is that women's status improves because they suddenly have their individual basic income. And one of the results in, an, in some of the American studies, which Republicans leapt onto, is it seemed to suggest marital breakups were following people receiving the basic income. So they said, see, it leads to marital breakup. Then they've looked into the data more carefully, and it found that it was women le leaving abusive relationships. Now, for me, that's a good thing, okay? I hope it is for all of us in this room. People have a greater sense of, of individuality and agency. In our African pilots, at the end of the pilot, I went to the places where we were doing them, and I asked some women, I said, what's the best thing for you? of having had a basic income for the last two years. And after a little bit of hesitation, and some of the young women said to me, well, you know, before, when the men used to come down from the fields at the end of the month with their pockets full, we had to say yes. But now with our basic income, we say no. That's emancipation. 